Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 13691, Class Alpha. This report was submitted by the witness on Sunday, January 29, 2006. This sighting took place in Jackson County near the town of Wanbley, South Dakota in November, not too far from Highway 44. The witness says, quote, I am quite surprised that there are no other reports coming from the Wanbley area. There is a creek running from a butt eight miles south of Wanbley, through Wanbley, and out to the Badlands. And there is a rich history of sightings of Bigfoots in this particular area. The witness explained in his report that this sighting took place between 4 and 4.30 in the morning. The weather was clear, but there was no moonlight and it was very dark. He describes the environment as rolling hills and there were a few trees and brush in the general area and the incident occurred as he drove into a valley. The witness described the details of what he observed that morning and he tells us this story. He says, I just started working as a police officer and I was assigned the midnight shift. I was doing my basic patrols when I was running low on gas. The officer who was working the evening had the gas card with him, and he lived approximately seven miles south of Wanbley on a gravel road. I spoke with him over the phone, and he said that he'll be waiting for me to come and get it. I drove out to his residence, and I did get the card, and I started driving back to Wanbley. I was coming over a hill in my patrol unit, which was a Chevy Tahoe, which did sit kind of high to the ground. Now the ditch area on this gravel road is approximately four to five feet deep on both sides. I was northbound when I started to descend the hill. I noticed something bobbing in the ditch on the west side of the road. It was kind of high off the ground. I thought it was a bat or a bird, so I didn't think anything of it. The next minute I saw something run across the road right in front of me. It was running towards the east. I did see what I thought was the shoulder area to the thigh area through the windshield. I had a side view of this thing. I could still remember seeing the reddish brown hair which covered the thing. The hair looked to be approximately four to five inches in length, and the overall torso and body which I could see was slim from the chest to the arms. The arms were long and slim. I do not remember seeing the hands. It only happened for a brief second or so, but whatever it was, was very fast. I did stop and turn around to try to see what it was, but it was gone. Now that morning, once the sun came up, I did find some impressions in the ground. Upon feeling the impressions with my own feet, P.S. I wear a size 13 boot, and I could make out the heel and the toes in the impression in the grass. I could not locate any foot tracks in the dirt, as the ground was very hard. Now, I was the only one that witnessed this. However, there are many other stories about sightings in this area. They're too numerous to tell here. There is a creek that runs through town, Wombly, out to the Badlands. I'm pretty sure you all are familiar with that region. If you plan any expeditions in South Dakota, you should try there. Just give me a call and I'll brief you as best as I can. That was the story that the witness reported in his own words. And after hearing it, I did a follow-up investigation. I have had the opportunity to talk with this officer many times over the phone and by email, and while meeting him and staying with him at his home, I have visited the location, and from our discussions, a few details can be added. He was driving at a moderate speed of about 35 miles per hour when, out of the corner of his eye, he noticed some movement off to his left. Almost immediately. Within two or three seconds, a large upright figure dashed across the road from his left to right. The sighting lasted just a second and crossed so suddenly that he didn't even have a chance to step on the brakes until it had already passed in front of him. The figure was brilliantly illuminated in his headlights, but it was so close, probably within five feet, that he was only able to see from its thigh to its shoulder. The lower legs were out of his view beneath the hood of the vehicle and the head was above his immediate field of view and out of the light. He described the torso and arms as skinny and mentioned the prominent swinging of the arms. Several local residents and police officers are now in contact with each other. Their investigations are continuing. Well, that concludes the report number 13691 investigated by David Petty. 
thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.